porcelain veneers versus clear aligners. Scene one, take one, and action. Introduction. From Bugs Bunny to the queen of smiles, I'm gonna share my journey with veneers and clear aligners. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Catrice Austin, also known as the queen of smiles, and I am so thrilled to share my journey with you. This isn't just another dental book, it's a personal story of transformation and a guide to help you make one of the most important decisions of your life, choosing between porcelain veneers, uh-huh, and clear aligners to get that picture perfect straight smile. You see, porcelain veneers and braces have been a part of my life for over two decades. They've not only allowed me to transform countless smiles, but have also changed my own life in the most dramatic of ways. When I was growing up, I hated my teeth because they were too long, they stuck out, and there were multiple spaces between my teeth. And every day in that schoolyard, I'd hear, there's Bugs Bunny. I was ridiculed to the point where I just kept to myself and avoided all the kids at all costs. I smiled through the pain and pretended that I was happy as a kid, but deep down, I was just sad and lonely, which held me back from enjoying my childhood. But at the age of 15, that pivotal time in your life when you want to fit in, uh, what was supposed to be a routine checkup and teeth cleaning uh, that my mother told me I was going to the dentist for turned out to be the braces that I always wanted to finally correct my smile. It changed my life forever. But my struggle with my smile didn't end with initial braces. Like many people who get braces, I faced several relapses throughout my adult years because I didn't wear my retainer consistently and daily. I tried Invisalign when it came out in the early 2000s and I still flat, <laughs> I fell flat on my face and I didn't wear my retainer. So I had another relapse. I finally decided to make peace with the gap between my two front teeth. And I just said, I'm just gonna live with it for many, many years. Uh, fast forwarding to 2021, I had the opportunity of a lifetime to get veneers. One of my colleagues, Dr. Sherelle Sly, was coming to New York to do some veneers. And she was wondering if I had any patients that wanted to get veneers. And I said, you know what? This is my chance. This is my time to get veneers to correct my smile for once and for all. You know, I had been on Team Gap for many years and I said, you know what? I'm going to do these veneers and I decided to videotape it. So you can watch my step-by-step -step process on YouTube, my own smile makeover. You see, I've come to realize that having a beautiful smile, it's not a luxury. <laughs> no, it is a necessity. In our beauty conscious society, one of the first things that people are gonna notice about you is your smile. It's your greeting card, it's your business card, it's your resume, it is your invitation card rolled all into one. My journey as a cosmetic dentist in New York City started with a simple yet powerful desire to empower everyone to experience the power of a smile. And over time I began to treat celebrity clients, but my heart was in ensuring that everybody, regardless of their background, their income, could access high quality care. In 2022, I partnered with Care Mobile Dentistry to provide access to dental care across the United States in a mobile dental van. It was then that I understood the true transformative potential of clear aligners uh, for the underserved community. That's when I discovered today's orthodontic treatment is accessible and that some companies who recently closed their doors like Smile Direct Club offered affordable aligners when they were open at $89 a month. Consumers just need to know that there's affordable ways to get the smile that you want, uh, the smile that you deserve. So I'm here to show you how to achieve it. I wanna take the time to share my journey with both aligners and porcelain veneers 
to let you know that I'm just like you guys. <laughs> I struggle with not feeling confident with my less than perfect smile. I've tried both the liners, braces, and uh, like some of you guys, I failed at it too. I thought about getting veneers many times over, but um, when the opportunity came in my way and fell into my lap, I said, you know what, I'm going to try it. I know it works. And thank goodness that I did because porcelain veneers have been a game changer for me personally. I have no regrets as getting veneers was the best option for me. But this book isn't about my journey. It's about you choosing the best route for you. This comprehensive guide will help you understand the differences between porcelain veneers and clear aligners. And together in this journey, I'm going to help you understand uh, about both services, the pros, the cons, uh, how empowering it is to make an informed decision tailored to your lifestyle and your smile journey. So join me as we take this journey on veneers and aligners, and I'll uncover the secrets for you to achieve your dream smile. Are you ready, guys? Let's get into it. Hey, everybody, it's Dr. Catrice Austin. Thank you so much for tuning in to Porcelain Veneers versus Clear Aligners, your guide to a picture perfect smile for straighter teeth. Now, if you've been enjoying this series, make sure you turn on your notifications and that you continue to like, comment, and share this content, especially if you have someone in your friend circle or your family circle that want to have a beautiful, healthy, and confident smile with straighter teeth, but they just don't know the option. I don't know about this video audio series and the book. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to give you more dental goodness that you've been looking for. We're talking all about having straighter teeth with porcelain veneers versus clear aligners. You don't want to miss it. Bye, guys.